Hi guys, Scott Woodward with you to talk about the Melbourne Storm NRL 2014 prospects and this incredible Melbourne, Melbourne team. They still almost won the minor premiership last year after backing up from a world club championship and winning a premiership. Uh, and uh, they were still very, very competitive uh, right at the end of the season. Just an outstanding effort by the coach and the coaching staff to keep this side in contention uh, with so much football. The good news is they, they, they do have uh, arguably the best coach in the NRL and three of the best players uh, in world football. Uh, but as I showed last night, that's not enough. The biggest factor that they have is that um, they will probably have a better preparation than what they had last year. Uh, and look, I know they, they, they're coming from a, a, a World Cup, um, but that's different to having to be up and reach a peak in February um, over in the UK. So they've come back and they've had time to rest and they've had time to get their bodies right. And that's not um, something that they had last year. And that factor showed... Uh, when the crunch games come and they went out um, in quite meek fashion by Newcastle. Now, under normal circumstances, Newcastle Knights would never be beating the Melbourne Storm in a, in a sudden death game uh, down in Melbourne. But that's what's happened, and we can only put it down to fatigue. Uh, it would no, not normally happen. I think you find there'll be a fresher Melbourne Storm this year, but they still have got a few problems. They need to find a number six, and they need to, need to get their defence in the centres, particularly on the left side, Right, um, that leaked a lot of tries last year. Uh, I think one of the main reasons for that was Hoffman, and of, even though he played every game in the state of origin, I thought he had a poor season last year um, based on his normal high standards. And uh, he missed a lot of tackles last year, which was most uncharacteristic by him. And because of that, it put a lot of pressure on the six and, and it put a lot of pressure on uh, the many different guys that were playing in the centres on that side. And uh, other coaches knew that and they kept targeting that side and they let in a lot of tries. Uh, so Craig is going to have to come up with the right combination there. And he's certainly got a lot of options. Most of them are young options. Uh, but he has recruited Ben Roberts and Joel Romillo. Uh, whether or not they'll be a contender for that sixth position, time will tell. I've got no idea why they recruited Ben Roberts. Uh, big red flag for me on their recruiting staff for even having on, him on, on the list. As a minimum, they've got to pay him $80,000. And I would have been rather putting that $80,000 toward uh, a guy that I think is a genuine first grader, and I don't think Ben Roberts is. He's proven that time and time again. And as good a coach as what Craig is, uh, he's going to have to play a key, spy, a key spine position, and you can't risk uh, a guy like Ben Roberts in a key spine position like that. Uh, there's talk that he may even play in the centres, um, and that's certainly not going to solve their defensive problems that they had last year, because Ben Roberts uh, could not tackle a weak back. He has got no idea uh, which way to move. He gets his timing all wrong. And as far as... Uh, Something just happened here. There's been a fall. I'll tell you about it later. Okay, now. Oh, that's good. I could have quite easily cut there and started from scratch, but uh, what the heck, we'll press on. Um, so anyway, um, I think um, Billy, start, Billy Slater will be fine to start the competition. There was mail that he may not make round one, so we'll have him down as starting. And, um, of course, Cooper Cronk um, looks like he will start also, although there's a little question mark on him as well. So the Storm will be strongly counting on Billy Slater and Cooper Cronk to be playing because they've got a very tough game first up against Manly away. Um, and they'll be second favourites for that game. They traditionally don't go that well against Manly. Um, but... Um, like after that, I don't think their draw is too bad, and providing they get their best players back, uh, I expect them to be in the top four, and I expect them yet again to be a major contender uh, for this competition with the better preparation that they've got this year. Um, let's talk about the problems that they've got. It looks like Craig will probably stick with Justin O'Neill in the centres and Matt Duffy on the wing. It's not what I would do. Uh, Craig normally always gets it right, and uh, I never like going against what he does because he just he just gets it right all the time. But uh, uh, Matt Duffy to me looks to have a lot of problems in his game, and I don't think Justin Neal is a diggy dice centre. I'd rather him on the wing. Uh, so look, they haven't got that many options. Uh, certainly, they've got a very promising young centre in the club called Heimel, Heimel Hunt, who they got from the Titans, and uh, I think he's a genuine first grader. Whether or not he's ready just yet, I don't know. I also like Mahi uh, Fanua on, on, on the wing, and I know he also can have some defensive problems, but he's an absolute gun when he's got the ball in his hands, and I think the Storm need a, a guy like that out there. Um, so I would be going with uh, 
um, for Nua, and uh, they need to find the right solution there in the left centre. That's their biggest problem for the year, as far as I'm concerned. Um, Sissa Wacker, I think, picks himself. Uh, he's just kept on improving, improving, improving since he's been at the Storm. Uh, the contenders for the, the, the sixth position are certainly Ben Hampton. He has first grade experience and certainly shows promise and he deserves the opportunity to have a crack. I have high regard for Romolo. Um, he busts tackles and he looks dangerous when he's got the ball and he has got some skills. Once again, like most guys, uh, he also has got some defensive issues. Uh, I like what I saw of Kurt Mann at Newcastle and I'd like to see him um, uh, be given an opportunity. I've heard some good things about Cameron Munster. Uh, also, so look, the Storm have certainly got some contenders for this sixth position, and I'm sure um, during the trials um, in the off season that they'll get it right. Very anxious to see who they who they come up with. There's no doubt that their best six in the team is their skipper number nine, Cameron Smith, but uh, he'll certainly be playing hooker. So um, uh, speaking of that, um, it's wonderful to see that uh, he's going to re-sign again for the Melbourne Storm, uh, everybody had him going to Brisbane, including me. Uh, but uh, it's a massive tribute to the club and his teammates that he wants to stay for less money. And uh, I think that's been very appreciated by everybody concerned. Expect him to have yet another big season. The forward pack is um, interesting, the Melbourne Storm. They've never been a dominating forward pack, more of a working pack. That's Craig style. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to see big George Rose come off the bench for the Melbourne Storm uh, this year. They haven't really had a guy like George Rose to come off the bench and uh, make very good go forward and take three or four guys with him, and that's what George George does. I've got no doubt he'll probably look a lot slimmer than he's ever looked in previous years, and um, so we, I'm expecting to see a great season from from George Rose, and I wouldn't be even surprised if they if they actually start him, because uh, he, he's shown to me that he actually can play long minutes on times when Manly was struggling for. Um, arms and legs, and he had to put in good minutes. And, and to me, his work rate um, is OK once he gets used to playing long minutes. So he's not just a pinch hitter for me, George Rose. For me, I think he's a fantastic in for the Melbourne Storm and just what they need. Um, Craig has shown that he wants to play Ryan Hinchcliffe at lock forward. Um, once again, that's not what I do, but it works for them. So what can you say? Uh, Kevin Proctor, Ryan Hoffman look like they'll be the back rowers. Uh, Jesse Bromish picks himself as one of the starting props. And his partner will probably be Brian Norrie. Not that Brian um, scares too many opposition coaches. They've got some wonderful uh, talent off the bench. Uh, no more than Tahu uh, Harris, who was unlucky to miss out on a uh, New Zealand spot in the World Cup. Uh, Junior Moores is highly talented. I've got a high regard for the big giant, Jordan McLean. Loved what I saw of him last year. Uh, Vave, look, they've got a young kid called Matthew Lodge. Um, who who uh, looks like uh, he'll be a rep player in years to come. Uh, and uh, when he does come on, you'll see a very, very good player in Matthew Lodge. Write that name down. Uh, Kenny Br- Bromwich um, has got good first-grade experience and looking forward to seeing him uh, go forward. Uh, young uh, Felice Cafusi, uh, Dwayne Weston comes in from, from Penrith. Slade Griffin showed some good things last year before he got injured. Uh, Mitch Carver has talent. Um, lo- I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing um, if Craig Blood's uh, Christian Wealth and uh, young Pride Patterson Rabate. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about him. So there's a lot of good depth there, a lot of good young depth there for the Melbourne Storm. And old depth when guys like George Rose, um, I think the Storm are, are in a pretty good shape. They're going to have, as usual, a good working forward pack. Um, and with a little bit of extra punch this year, I think. So if they can get the centre position right and they can get their sixth position right, um, and there's every chance that they will, they are certainly the team to beat because you know through Billy Slater and through Cooper Cronk and through Cameron Smith that they're just going to be a very dangerous side in attack and they're going to do most things wrong, I uh, should say right. They will almost be unbeatable at home and uh, they'll be favourite, if not second, or uh, just cl- close to equal favourite when they play away on almost every game. So for me, the Milman Storm, the team that beat, I've got no doubt that they'll have a very good year not having to travel to the UK this year. Um, So if you're a Melbourne Storm, I think you've got plenty to look forward to and hope you enjoy your season.